Yeah, what's good YouTube? It's your boy only one KDB and I'm back with another video in today's video We got Triple H has changed WWE forever now I said this once before and I'm gonna say it again Triple H is doing a tremendous job at this. I'm not gonna lie man He with these storylines and what he's just doing with the WWE has been tremendous man We about to we about to check this out man. If you're new to the channel make sure you like share and subscribe Turn on that post notification button you get notified when I drop another banger. Make sure y'all smash that like button because it helps me get into the algorithm. I'm not the biggest YouTube on the platform, but I'm trying to get there though. Let's get it. No more talking. Let's get it, man. 2025 is said to be a historic year for WWE as all make their debut on Netflix. Netflix. I can't wait. Day, completely change how their product is presented and received. Additionally, WWE will look to build on the past few years of popularity on a bigger platform. And ultimately, WWE could be facing a business boom that even eclipses the Attitude Era. Join us yes, now as Wrestlemania looks at how Triple H has changed WWE Shout out Triple H, man. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. As things stand, WWE is in an incredible place. Their product is red hot and they're delivering sellouts in every town and city across the world. This is down to a creative team led by Triple H that truly understands what the modern WWE fan wants, and this is combined with a roster that is the right mix of experience and youth. Triple H, since taking over WWE creative, has truly changed- Hey Triple H, that Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan and Dominic Mysterio, that, that storyline is amazing, man. All you gotta do is add me to that, and that'll be perfect. It'll, it'll just be, that'll be the fucking cherry on top right there. Just add me into the story. You know what I'm saying? Have me fight Dominic Mysterio, man. Game, pun intended when it comes to pro wrestling. While some may argue that the rise of the WWE was certainly on the horizon during Vince McMahon's final few months in charge, it was Triple H who put the focus on storytelling, and he still continues to allow talent to get over in their own unique way. And most of the credit for the boom comes down to the Bloodline storyline, and this does indeed have some merit, and wrestling historians and journalists will label the Bloodline saga as one of the reasons for the modern boom. However, it goes beyond the Bloodline. As left, right, and center, these are storylines and wrestlers that matter, and we're now in an era where fans aren't concerned that an organically over-wrestler won't be pushed, and there's no longer a concern that the product will be booked for the enjoyment of one out-of-touch man. This creative and storytelling boom will no doubt continue into 2025, as it's been made clear that Triple H is a long-term booker, and there's no doubt that Triple H has a primary card for WrestleMania 41 penciled into his notebook already. Okay. In 2025, WWE will truly take a step into modern times, as a flagship show Raw will be presented on Netflix. As things stand, in the US, Netflix has 84 million subscribers. This gives WWE a reach like never before. Mm -hmm. The exposure that the product and the WWE as a whole is going to receive is astronomical. Netflix truly changes everything, as WWE have zero limits and won't be shackled by ad partners for their respective networks. Yeah, it's going to get Some crazy. Fans, when the announcement broke earlier this year, raised the question surrounding the PG product. And based on TV over the past few months, it's been made perfectly clear that they're ready to leave the PG era right behind in the rearview mirror. We've seen wrestlers curse on live TV, and we've seen bloodshed in numerous matches and segments. WWE has been a PG presentation since 2008, and whilst the PG product did result in some great storylines and matches over the years, the world has moved on. Those younger fans who grew up under the confines of the PG product have grown up, and they're no doubt seeking a more mature wrestling product. Right, now, Triple H right, basically right. confirmed that the Netflix deal will drastically alter WWE's stance on PG, as this is what the head of WWE Creative had said during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show. We won't have those issues with Netflix. The ability to live globally, the ability to have everything seen all at once, everywhere. It's a game-changing moment. I think in many ways, not to disparage other partners because we want to be everywhere, but that's sort of where the world is heading, is streaming services. I think it's why this Netflix deal for us was so game-changing. I think well, everybody's going to be watching man, I can't wait. Especially those other- I can't wait, fam. God damn, I don't even got a Netflix description, but I'm going to get one soon to watch WWE. Do I? I think I do. But it don't matter, man. I cannot wait for WWE to come on Netflix, bro. That shit is going to be so fucking crazy, man. It's, it's, y'all going to see some crazy... I'm telling y'all, y'all going to see some crazy shit, man. I can't wait. Sports. From a business side, they're going to be watching to see what we do, what we do differently, and how that's received. A WWE have a huge opportunity with the Netflix deal to bring in Laps fans back into the product. 
one of the positive elements of Triple H's era in WWE is that there is truly something for every fan, and having an unrestricted product on Netflix will allow a certain demographic to get their fix of pro wrestling. It's no secret that even the most loyal of wrestling fans have become sick of the WWE product before Triple H took over, and the Renaissance era isn't just a marketing slogan, it's a legitimate and accurate way of describing the current product. One of the pivotal changes that Triple H has implemented has been an overhaul of production. The product looked the exact same for years on end, as Kevin Dunn was prone to using the same camera angles and tricks time and time again. But WWE's new director, Lee Fitting, brings in a youthful modern stance to shooting WWE, and the look mm. of the product has never been better. Okay. According to Triple H, when the move to Netflix began in 2025, more production techniques will be implemented, and the game has admitted that a lot of the new techniques will be done on a trial and error basis. One of the newer production techniques was seen at SummerSlam as it would debut the referee cam. Whilst the reception to this gimmick was mixed, it was certainly appreciated that they tried something new and they aren't playing it safe when it comes to their style of production. Triple H addressed the future of WWE on the post-2024 SummerSlam press conference, and one thing was clear from the game's speech. He and names such as Nick Khan have a clear agenda on how they want the WWE's business model to evolve, and according to the game, fans haven't seen nothing yet. We had a very specific agenda between myself and Nick as far as how we wanted to approach this year and how we wanted it to roll out. I think you can see in every one of these international events we've done and their sizes, where they were located and how we did them. This year is going to close out big, excited for all of it, the future's bright. These talents are the most amazing roster I think I've seen. They are the most talented and dedicated, everybody's having so much fun right now, including me, which is the best part. We're all just charging ahead towards what I believe is coming. If true, you ain't seen nothing yet. What these comments oh, show is that the shit. WWE have a man that is truly passionate about WWE as their leader. Vince McMahon was always past his sell-by date as a booker, and it's hard to imagine McMahon delivering a speech of this nature where he puts over the roster in such a positive manner. Triple H's love for the industry is infectious, and it's hardly a surprise that most of the roster have nothing but praise for the game. And that is with specific praise coming from names such as Randy Orton, CM Punk, and AJ Styles who have cited how the game puts a focus on compelling storytelling whilst making sure talent welfare is at the forefront at all times. In relation okay. to the talent welfare point, WWE have altered their model in terms of events over the past two years. It used to be a common place for WWE to run their talent into the ground. The talent would constantly be traveling from town to town, and this led to their bodies being broken down. Even names such as CM Punk called this out, and it was only when Triple H took over that WWE revised the model. They still have live events, yet they have vastly reduced the schedule for talent. Certain talent are allowed to skip live events if they have other commitments, and one of the major reasons this is even possible is due to WWE having so many names that are insanely over at this time. Randy Orton, who worked under Vince McMahon for the majority of his career, discussed this during a 2024 interview with WrestleBinge, and this is what the veteran had to say. Vince McMahon had Raw on Monday Night Live, where everyone's, he didn't care if you had kids. I came to him when I was 35, and my back really started going, and I pleaded with him like, man, I gotta not do as many shows, maybe after tour, I'll be able to recover, and he just looked at me and was like, Oh, I need you on those shows, Randy. Mother Nature gets us all. To hear that and go... Yeah, I know they body be hurt, man. They be wrestling night after night after night after night. They body be sore like a motherfucker. But shout out to Triple H, man. You changing the game. Shout out to the game. You changing the game. That's clever right there. Shout out to the game. You changing the game. Time to play the game. You know? All right, whatever. Play. Well, I guess there's no other thing I can do than just wear myself out down to the nub until I can't walk anymore for this man. Despite all the opportunities he gave me, it's nice having him out there. It's nice having his son-in-law Triple H running the game. Nick Khan is great. Everybody from TKO that's come in stepped in and they seem to get it. And it's just a different era. I think the way they care for talent nowadays and make sure that the talent is good and if they need a little bit of a break, we're only human. They get it most of the time. And this is the exact reason okay. why talent morale has skyrocketed. Triple H was a full-time talent in WWE for decades, so he understands how yeah, it he works. Understand. He understands how vital it is that talent are happy. This focus on talent morale will no doubt continue into 2025, as whilst WWE will never abolish live events entirely, they will continue to focus on delivering events that matter, while still allowing talent to put their families first. One of the central aims for Nick Khan when he took on an executive role in WWE was to expand the market. For decades, international markets were ignored, and now international markets are getting multiple PLEs a year, and each of them are breaking records. This is likely to continue into the next year, as numerous countries have been rumored for a PLE, 
And of course, there's the ongoing rumor that WrestleMania could be coming to the UK. Could mm. 2025 be the most successful business year for WWE to date? Time will tell. All the signs are there. The Netflix deal will be hard to mess up as the current fan base will simply jump over to the platform and this will be combined with millions upon millions of individuals who may have never watched a WWE show in their life. WWE will also do their best to build and develop a thriving roster led by names such as Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns and Rhea Ripley. 2025 could be the year in which Triple H's vision is finally realized and the WWE emerges into the best place it's ever been. What would you guys think of Triple H changing? The WWE is in good hands, man, with Triple H at the helm. So with all that being said, Triple H. I just need one match. You don't even gotta pay me nothing. All you gotta do is just give me about just give me about ten dollars and I'll come over there and participate in a match. It don't gotta be nothing crazy. I could just be on the screen for ten seconds. Just give me in there. But uh with all that being said, if y'all enjoyed that reaction video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Smash that like button because it helps me into the algorithm. I'm not the biggest YouTube on the platform, but I'm trying to get there though. My bad for the low energy. It's raining, man. Hope we expecting a, uh, a tornado or some shit in Baltimore. Hopefully it don't come around here because I ain't got time for that bullshit.